Well, welcome to Oakwell for the first game of the 1990-91 season. Mel Machen, of course, took over last season and the ground reflects the improvements that he's made right throughout the club. Uh, he started at the bottom, the youth team, uh, the reserve side, the first team, they've all come under his scrutiny and the club is now set to really do something this season in the second division. Promotion may be a little bit beyond the present setup, but there's no doubt that the ambition is there. And this afternoon, entertaining Brighton and Hove Albion is an excellent opportunity for them to show just what they can do. Uh, Brighton's team is now just coming up on the screen. It's interesting, number two there, Russell Bromwich. He started his career at Port Vale, where, in fact, Mel Mating, uh, the manager, uh, at Barnsley started his career as well. Both players have done remarkably well and if Bromwich of Brighton can emulate what Mel Machen has done in the game then he too has got a bright future. The referee then Mr Redfern and uh, he's from the North East. I know all about this wonderful game of ours up in that part of the world so let's hope that the game is well controlled here this afternoon. A beautiful afternoon uh, for the fans and really quite an exceptional crowd. We're moving somewhere up, I think, around the 7,000 mark, and uh, for us, that can only be encouraging. Well, here you see Agnew in picture now. He's going to be an, an essential part of the, uh, the team this afternoon. Uh, he's the playmaker, does an enormous amount of work from the midfield position, and here we go. So we're tagging on the ball straight away. And Archdeacon playing it long, but Brighton getting now first touch, but not for long. Agnew once again, putting across the park, impeded there, the referee lets play continue, and Brighton take over. And something of a wasted ball there. By Brighton. And Clive Baker getting his first touch of the afternoon. Good long ball, well taken. And wide on the left again. The Archdeacon intercepted. But here we come, down the left flank once more. The Archdeacon going for the flag, pull down, throw in, and this is going to be left to Ian Banks, who can throw them long, as we all know. Good one, into the box, good back header, and only partially cleared. Once again, a good ball into the area, but partially cleared and across, straight across the face of the goal, behind the goal kick. Got a good bright opening, understanding already showing throughout the side, and the attack moving well, concentrating so far down the left flank. Uh, Perry Digweed, a rather expensive buy for Brighton, 150,000 when he came from Fulham without a lot of experience and a player who occasionally on the uh, big moment is inclined to lose his nerve a wee bit and make some uh, rather horrendous mistakes but a very good shot stopper. There you see him, Perry Digweed, the Brighton keeper. Right footed. And our man Agu once more, but uh, not a good ball for him. As Brighton tried to make progress down the right. But uh, the referee decides an unfair tackle. So Brighton with perhaps the best move of the game coming up. And here you see Russell Bromwich recently signed from Bristol. On the ball, right footed again into the box. But 
easily cleared. And Archdeacon moving well. Donald steps in for Brighton, plays it down the line, and a good interception allowing Mark uh, Darham no chance at all. And, uh, close up there of a, a foul, but nothing serious. Free kick from well inside the Brighton half, floated into the box. And Banks trying to force his way through, but crowded out by sheer weight of numbers. So within the first five minutes, I think it's fair to say that Barnsley have had by far the greater proportion of play. Let's hope it stays that way. Bad ball from Degree. There's one of the mistakes that... Uh, I warned you he was capable of, and back comes the ball, but we just don't cash in on that one. The open end of the ground there, which of course with the new Taylor report becoming law, will eventually have to be seated. But it dig weed again, good long ball down the park. And away into touch for a throw to Brighton. Steve Agnew there doing the ball boy out of a job. Good ball forward by Steve Cooper, but Brighton coming back, Banks tackling well, laying the ball wide. Archdeacon left footed down, just a wee bit too far ahead of uh, Andy Seville, who when he's fit can be as lethal as any striker in the second division. Long ball down the park, taken on by Brighton, they move down their right flank. Good high ball into the box, but again, Steve Agnew prods it away, follows through this time. Sheer weight of numbers keep him out, but a good tackle and good work there in the middle of the park by Joe Smith, who sets his way down the right. Banks again inside the back, but uh, not quite the pace. They're wide on the flank to get to that one. The intention good, the execution perhaps not quite so good. So here we come again, the man with the unfortunate name Digweed, right footed down the park. And again, good strong play as we get the ball away out of defence for a throw to Brighton halfway inside their own half. Mark down. Going across, pushing the ball down the line for the throw to be taken. And nice move inside there. Lovely ball forward. Can we do anything with it? No. Away you come Brighton. And it's uh, Robert Cobner there who's been up amongst the leading goal scorers for Brighton for two or three seasons now. Surprised really that Brighton have been able to hold on to him for as long as they have. But uh, Clive Baker, good drop kick down the park. Andy Seville not able to bring that one under control. And Brighton once more in possession. Steve Gatting, brother of the more famous cricketer, gives it back again to his own keeper. A good long ball once more down the park. Good flick on for Andy Savile's chase, but Brighton can see the corner. Does the yes, the referee agree. And 
We shall have an in-swinger, I think, from the left here. As Steve Agnew moves across to take it. The linesman not helping. And the ball just escaping as it came across the face of the goal there. We were unable to get a touch to turn it back in, but uh, another corner to Barnsley. And again, I think this will be an in-swinger. It will indeed with uh, Owen Archdeacon. But nodded away, only partially, and Brighton just slamming that one into touch. No finesse, but it was effective. Yeah, here we go. Nice move down again. Joe, Joe Smith doing well. Out to Archdeacon. Again, just the Brighton head getting to that one. And uh, Gary Fleming wisely letting that run for a throw. So again, we should get the long ball into the box. Good one. And a bit of obstruction there, I thought, but Brighton get away with it. Play the ball down the left side. And Codner getting through quite a lot of work. As uh, he tried to cut inside there, but didn't succeed. Throw to Brighton now. They have got a long throw expert in the form of Bromwich, but he doesn't use it. And it's Codner trying to get through, free kick given. And here we go again. Uh, lovely to see a tackle invited there by uh, Joe Smith. With Joe knowing precisely what he was going to do if it had come. But we get the throw. And here we come again. Oh, no. Good ball through the defence, but just running away at the vital moment and letting Brighton cover up and get the ball back to their own keeper. Back out of there. Cleared away. Finally by Brian Cord and oh, again good intent but not terribly good execution. So free kick to Brighton. And uh, Brighton not able to capitalise on that one, but a quick throw in by Mark Darham. And nice work by Brighton as they come along the dead ball line. A shot from really a silly angle and uh, they get a corner but really if that had been pulled back it could perhaps have been dangerous. However, no real problem. Brighton with the corner and again an in-swinger. Oh, terrible, terrible corner. And an easy one there for Clyde Baker. He loves them. The players move away down the park. Good long kick. Foul, I thought that. The referee lets it go. And it's long ball down the park. Bye. Brighton's new signing there, uh, Russell Bromage, who, although uh, he's down on the programme, is wearing the number two shirt, is really filling the left full back row. And it's some nice in the passing there, the final ball not too good, and Brighton booted away down the path once again, but good strong defending. 
<laughs> in fact, a little bit too strong. And the referee decides that Brighton get possession once more from the free kick. Now, here you see Brighton on the ball. Again, a well-intended free kick, but good covering there from the uh, right full-back spot for us to concede a corner. There you see the St John's Brigade, who do such a good work at all football grounds throughout this country. And an in-swinging corner to Brighton. Again, no real danger. The referee decides it went off for Barnsley Head. Well, it can keep this up all day. <clears throat> as long as the ball doesn't get across the face of the goal, we've no problems. An opportunity here. And good block on the line. Right to play the ball back. And Clive Baker takes it well. That... Uh, really could have been uh, a wee bit nasty for us had we not had uh, a defender back on the line but fortunately we've still got a clean sheet as Brighton now a long throw down the line nodded clear back it comes and oh Brighton tackle back well and this time, again, the final cross field for field ball, not terribly well executed, and an easy one for us to get back to Baker. Free kick. A little bit of pushing there that we didn't get away with on this occasion. So Brighton. Hitting it long and hard and wasting it. A risky back pass and there was no need then for a corner to have been conceded. <coughs> no, it isn't a corner, thank goodness. It looked to be from where we are, but uh, the referee decided it went off the Brighton man. But I think Gary Fleming could have turned on that one and played it down the park without putting Baker under stress. However, no problem, as Seville brings Banks into play. Banks now, short ball, back, intercepted, and away come Brian. And it's that workhorse for them, Robert Codner, doing very well at the back. Good player, too good to stay with right now, I would suggest. And a long back pass, well held by Baker. Now, we a chance here. Zagman moves in. The inside left slot. Cuts inside, tries the shot. And the lead goes down well. Good effort there by Steve Agnew. He knew what he was doing. But... Uh, Digweed read it well, went down to his right. A good shot and a good save. <clears throat> Agnew getting back now into his defensive role and conceding the throw. From throwing Brighton, gaining very little. And Fleming playing well within himself. Good long ball down the park, but just a wee bit too far ahead of Steve Cooper and behind for a goal kick.
Uh, good header. <coughs> um, once again, the ball played forward. Cooper <coughs> cut off and Brighton using the keeper. Cardinals quite dangerous in those positions, but Archdeacon coming back and playing very well indeed, finding Agnew. Nice chip by Agnew. Over to Fleming, back inside. Agnew moving very well indeed, bringing the other flank into play, but Archdeacon beating one man, not beating two. And <coughs> Brighton with the passing, letting them down. Thanks. Forward. Agnew into space. Oh, nice interchange there between Cooper and then. So now we've got Archdeacon taking over. Long ball to the far side. Good header by Cooper. And that was really a beautifully worked move. Good. At least half a dozen passes strung together. But we didn't really get on the end. Well, back to him again. And Joe playing it wide. And Fleming, I thought, showing just a little bit too much of the ball there to his marker, but we get the throw. And again, Brighton step in. And it's this man, Codner. Good ball across the park from him. Long clearance. And the whistle's gone. Clive Baker only scored here. Good Cooper. Cooper brought down. Three three waves. Play on. And back in possession. Oh, nice one too there. And here they come. Wide on the far side, but not well delivered. And no problem at all. So, throw to Brighton, and who have we got coming up to take it? I think we should know. I thought we were going to get the long throw from them at last, but it didn't come. Codner and Bromwich, and the... Uh, I'm sure that is Bromwich over there, but he's not wearing the number that he should have been wearing. Left foot is a good long ball, and again, Baker's to it. And an overhead clearance. But the referee decided that uh, there was an infringement on the bounds of the goalkeeper, so we get free kick. Exactly the same as the goal kick, so we've gained nothing. Oh, lovely flick inside. Agnew trying to return the compliment, but just thwarted by the boot of that central defender there for Brighton. And the ball spins away for a throw. Good move there. Would have been brilliant if it had come off. Now, Seville. Good ball from him to Agnew. Agnew squares it through for Banks. Banks tries a shot, but although it had direction, <coughs> didn't have by any means enough power to beat Perry Digweed. So we've still got no goals here at Oakwell as uh, Digweed boots this one away down towards the uh, goal at the open end and throw to Brighton. Just about halfway through the half now and our lads looking very comfortable on the ball indeed as Brighton swing this one into the area, flicked away and Cooper, a lazy ball there from Cooper, almost let Brighton in but there's that man again, Agnew, to pick it up. And 
Just an awkward turn. I can whip it back towards the Barnsley goal, but the linesman's flag was up for offside. The new offside decision, of course, comes into effect this afternoon. That is, that if you're level with the last defender, apart from the goalkeeper, you're now onside. Now he's Agnew. On the edge of the box, trying to cut inside. Archdeacon backing up, but he didn't have any luck. And Barnsley and uh, Brighton booted away down the field. But oh, nice play there! Good turn. Archdeacon inside to Agnew. Agnew, a square ball, banks wide on the far side, and Fleming chips it forward. This could be dangerous. Late tackle there, but the referee lets play continue as he goes over just to speak to the arms of the player and Digweed in possession moves to the edge of his area. And again, Barnsley playing mainly a defensive role, certainly territorially, Barnsley have had by far the uh, edge, but that superiority at the moment has not been translated into goals. I'm sure it'll come though. As Brighton move forward, ball inside, only partially clear, but again, good understanding, and that man Agnew once more. Steve gets to lay down the ball. Banks cuts inside his man. A long crossfield pass. And this could be dangerous. Good ball into the box. Agnew just not able to get on the end of it. And Brighton again. Close ranks. And leave it to Digweed. Here we come, moving forward again. Down the right hand. Into the Barnsley half. And Agnew wide. Good run off the ball over on the far side, but Agnew plays it in. And that loose ball picked off and cleared away up the park with Baker uh, doing the sweeping job at the back. And getting that one nicely away, out of danger. Slight hold up in play here as we finally get the ball out for the throw. Turned in nicely. Not a good ball to the far side, and the flag's up in any event for offside. So, despite the new offside ruling, neither side has really taken enormous advantage. Um, a little bit of time wasting here, which isn't necessary. And Baker, oh, a good flick on here now. Uh, corner. Brighton seem quite prepared to give corners away. Maybe they'll pay for that generosity as the game wears on. Now another in-swinger. Cleared away, but not all that far. And the short ball forward for Brighton to move on through the middle of the park. And this time they do get it away down the right. Short ball inside, and a good back header, which could have been dangerous, well read by Baker 
and good fist away. And there he comes again. Takes that one well. Lovely clearance up the park, well laid off. And this time Archdeacon runs into trouble. And it's Brighton. Down there right. Well cleared. Agnew knows precisely what he's doing. And a nice little turn on the edge of his own box there by Joe Smith, who feeds Baker. And now we come down the left side once again. Overhead, right and take over, but not for long. And then another clever turn there by Brian McCord to bring Baker into the game once again. He plays it away down the right. Long swinging ball and well done. And Cooper there, right footed into the box but there's nobody able to get on the end of that one. And it runs away for a throw in. Well, on a warm afternoon like this, uh, the first game of the season, there's a chance of a few blisters and a little bit of leg weariness as the grass is probably a bit longer than it's ever likely to be for the rest of the season. But overall, uh, good understanding for the first match of the season and uh, I think a lot to give our loyal supporters quite a bit of heart. as the ball played through the centre. A good overlap. Back inside. Short one. Through to Archdeacon. And it turns it on. Down the left side. Banks. Not a good ball into the box. Easily cleared. And it's this man, Codner, once more. Making ground. But good cover and bad final ball from Codner. As the tenacity of our midfield is shown there. And back come right. final ball from both sides on occasion leaves a wee bit to be desired but uh, I don't think anyone would argue that the Barnsley build-up has been by far superior to that shown by Brighton and I think if uh, Barnsley continue to play the way they are that they should get some result from it before long now uh, oh good ball and a good cross and unfortunately Archdeacon got too far under that one but oh, the referee seems to think that uh, it was a Brighton player that got the last stud uh, I think we're being treated rather kindly there by uh, Mr Redfern from Whitley Bay so an in swinger from the left Steve Agnew with the ball. Long, high and hard, but Brighton get it away up the park. Not for long. And <laughs> well offside. So, free kick. <coughs> Nicely kept in play. And, uh, again, the final delivery into the area quite 
not quite what it should have been. Certainly Digweed has been by far the busier of the two goalkeepers, which is a fair reflection of the way the game has gone so far. Click on there, that could have been nasty, but the referee spotted an offence. So Joe Joyce again gives it to uh, Clive Baker. And he in turn makes a good long ball down the park. Agnew on the ball. Oh, a nice little ball by Agnew. And what a shame. Good cross over to the far post. And a corner. And it's uh, Archdeacon going over to take this again to be an in swimmer. Noticeable that uh, no one goes on to the far post from these corners. If you do get the flick on, um, there isn't anyone obviously placed. Nice overhead kick, but again, usually taken by Big B. Right now, down there, right flank, and a good save and tackle right on the halfway line. Ball. Back it comes. Steve Cooper takes that well. Well kept in play. Oh, it appeared to have been kept in play. Is it a throw or a free kick? It's going to be a free kick. <clears throat> yeah, rather a hard and unfair challenge from Steve Agnew. Pity because uh, quite a lot of skill shown there. And we were in possession, the Barnes, we were in possession of the ball. So, hard seating again. Good header. Would we just cover it and let him go over to the goal kick to break it? Ten minutes to go and still no goal. Let's have this deadlock broken. Green again, a long ball down the park. Codner beaten, the ball pushed away from Agnew as it's lobbed forward. Seville moves in but not able to get on the end of it. So Brighton come back again. Some confidence shown there by uh, Gary Fleming that didn't avail us a great deal. So, oh, I'm saved there by Baker. Uh, suddenly, the first time Baker has been extended. But quite capable, doing his job, doing his job. Without showing their appreciation. And there's the ball placed for the corner to Brighton. And well cleared. So Brighton gaining very little indeed from that. So comes in, long cross into the box and again Clyde Baker showing what a good keeper he can be. Cooper, long, oh, nice ball, Cooper feeding Joe Smith. Smith a good one inside and a stop just on the line. 
action that the, the Fred Miller shutting up because the ball appeared to be halfway over the line, but of course the whole of the ball must cross the line for it to be a goal. It's as close as we've come. And now it's Brighton. And tackle there from Cooper, which the referee says wasn't quite fair. It was Andy Seville putting his weight about. So free kick had it partially clear. Back it comes. Nodded away again. It was a bit too close for comfort. Last one she up there, but Decided it was the woodwork, and looked at I for a moment it would have hit the uh, staunch and holding the side netting. But uh, it must have been the woodwork that really battled it and had it came. We've really got to be a wee bit more cautious. However, still no goals, and it's Clive Baker with the ball. Nicely flipped down, but back it comes. And Brighton getting into the game a wee bit now, but uh, well read by Fleming. Who hits that away down the park. Nicely turned by Cooper. Gets the return. Cooper going forward. Oh, good ball to His right. Turned in and it from Banks to. Oh, he didn't know the time. But he does get it wide, nicely wide. Archdeacon, long ball, but this will be easy for the Brighton keeper. His clearance, not good. Agnew on the ball. Turns away from his marker. Back across the park. Leave it for Archdeacon. To uh, Joe Smith there. He plays it wide. Back at one, good square ball, and swept wide again, quickly returned, nicely breasted down, and raised to go. And Brighton, coming free, up the park, Codner, down the line, into space, and a good tackle, a very good tackle there from Jerry Taggart. Now, what can Brighton do here? They can win a corner. Over comes that old man. Clive Walker, he's been round a bit. Back it comes. Left footed again. Oh, my word, and that's something of a disaster as the ball failed to be cleared and into the top corner of the net for the first goal of the game after just 42 minutes. So, Barnsley nil, Brighton one. And no Machin look like that. Uh, come half time, I think there'll be a few strong words said. For letting that corner come in and uh, letting the Brighton player get his shot in. Really, the first time that Brighton had brought Clive Walker fully into the game, very experienced player, served most of his career with Chelsea. Um, 
and uh, he showed his experience certainly with that. Corner into the box and right now obviously with their tails up taking the game to us but the defence looking reasonably composed and one of those shots that nine times out of ten tends to fly over the woodwork this time found the top corner of the net and certainly Baker had no chance with that one. So, the half-time whistle goes and we score. Brighton 1 at Barnsley nil as the players come off the park. Well, here we are for the start of the uh, second half. The bad news is that Brighton uh, scored just before half-time. Of course, the, the perfect time for any side to score and the worst possible time from uh, Barnsley's point of view. But no doubt at half time Mel Machin led the riot act, told those players that weren't performing the way he wanted them to, precisely what he expects of them in the second half and I'm sure that things will start to come well below. Well, the evidence of what we've just seen is Brighton Deliver a snapshot which uh, Clyde Baker thought should have been closed down and Brighton starting in quite a volatile fashion. So uh, it's this man Clive Walker again with his in swinging corner and a very bad one as far as Brighton is concerned but well cleared. Into touch throw to Brighton. That's Andy Nelson over there with the throw. Codner covering the ball but backing into his man. And uh, the referee in fact waving for the trainer to come on so not looking too good from that point of view. Jerry Taggart I think it is over there that took a bit of a bump. Now Baker just making sure his defensive colleague is in reasonably good shape. And uh, I think Jerry just got a uh, knock on the mouth, probably slightly cut lip. <coughs> and I think after treatment he'll be okay. Oh, it isn't Jerry. In fact, it's Joe Joyce, and uh, it's not often that he's caught in a situation like that. However, no problems, at least no lasting problems, as Baker gets the ball away up the park. And another offence holding, I think, there. And free kick, which, who's going to take it? Ian Lynch leaves it to Gary Fleming and right footed chip in there flicked on but comparatively easy and uh, <laughs> a war dance in front of the goalkeeper there <laughs> digweed a wee bit offended by it but no need to be goalkeepers I think are a wee bit overprotected these days in the days of forward like jump guards, Digweed would have uh, retired early. Now, here we go. And I'm just unable to get through. And Steve Agnew not able to beat his man now. And the fence says the referee. There didn't appear to be anything wrong. However, he's the man in charge, the man from Whitley Bay. Free kick then. Mm. Owen Archdeacon. Left footed. 
Not all clear. Back it comes, offside, I think, there. As the players came back, but not quickly enough. <coughs> Free kick to Brighton. Who, uh, holding this one goal lead. Which um, was scored really against the run of play towards the end of the first half, but Dig Reed on the ball. Ball nodded down and another free kick. Back it goes to Clive Baker. And Jojo is none the worse for wear, following the treatment he just had. Now, oh, a nice, true little flick. And here we go. And, wow! Oh, well, the chance certainly on the stray there. And we should have been having a bit more determination about the finishing on that occasion. Really was a missed opportunity, and you can't give chances away like that as Brighton moved forward. But Brighton guilty of the same nonchalance in front of goal that we've just shown. But back we come now. Now, Andy Sever, is he going to have a crack? Yes, a good low. Oh, that's only just wide. And Digweed lecturing his defenders, for allowing Andy Seville to get that ball onto his left foot and hit a good low shot. Unfortunately, from our point of view, just wide of the post. So, goal kick again. Big lead, long ball down the park, back it comes. And then, right now, really not showing a lot of penetration on the flanks. Apart from the other occasion when uh, Clive Walker has had a good ball. Throw then. And that one once again. Baker will take them all day and all night. As we move forward once more. And can we make some of that? No. Andy Savile cried me out again. Again, Fleming shaping to take the throw, but is that Nelson or is it. Uh, is it Robert Cogner? <laughs> Knock just below the knee and just above the shin pad. Shin pads, of course, are now essential. FIFA have said they must be worn. There's a good shot of the referee, if there is such a thing. <laughs> good shots, but <laughs> is he a good referee, I ask? Not too bad. He hasn't made too many mistakes. And the Brighton man, in fact, it's Robert Codner. So Brighton back to 11 men. And as the throw comes into the box. And once again, cleared, in touch. Uh, Hopefully, this no, will not going to bag you on the ball, thanks. To go on the ball, not as well as we expect. But here he comes again, taking on the defence, driven wide. Good cross by Fleming. No, nobody on the end of that one. And right, we're able to play it through Codner. It will still show. Touch that old injury, and now he is Bromwich, playing ball by Bromwich, a new signing by Brighton. And the ball played down the line for a throw in. 
uh, Ian Banks to take. No, he leaves it. And Gary Fleming takes over. Andy Savile leaves it to Cooper. Cooper overruns the ball and back it comes from Brighton. And really, we've got to close Brighton down a bit quicker than we are doing as the ball comes away down the left flank. But again, Brighton step in. Move it forward. And Codner brought down again. And do we get the throw? No, Brighton do. Not even a throw, free kick. Yeah, could have been dangerous, but the whistle went. I think this time it was uh, <coughs> Clive Walker showing his wiles, boring in on his man. The referee spotted it, and so. Let's get the ball back down to the other end of the park as we trail by one goal to nil. And now this could be dangerous. Cooper keeps the ball in play. Having plays it forward. Agnew lets it run, but right and cover well. Big read. Well, we said that he's capable of making blunders, but so far only one poor clearance has shown that uh, he can make mistakes. Apart from that, he has controlled his area pretty well so far this afternoon, but we've got a breaking down. We're going to get anything from this game. So, free kick. In the left back spot, good long ball up the park. And Brighton. Take it away, but back it comes. And this time, Owen Archdeacon couldn't keep the ball in play. So we'll throw to Brighton. And again, we we'll get it down the park, it drifts in the touch. The referee now is having a word with uh, Codner. Well, Codner has seemed to say just a little bit too much. I noticed maybe a few minutes ago that the referee was joking with him, but I think jokingly he was telling him not to say quite as much as he has been. So, right, hammering the ball down the path again, but Intercepted and back it comes. Now, can Steve Agnew get on to this? No. In touch once more. And a little bit more urgency about the Barnsley play, I think. As from the throw. -in. Good turn. Played square, but back it comes. And comes the man on the ball. Brighton. Play it long and hard. And a nice interception. It's good to see control play like that. Again, it happens. And he sets Andy Savile away. And Brighton, once again, quite happy to pump the ball behind the corner. Well, we need a goal. And we need a goal about now. And Steve Agnew, yet again, takes the in-swinging corner. Nodded clear. Back it comes, and an easy one once again for the Brighton man. So Digweed boots it away, up the park. And... Confidence in Clive Baker as the ball's nodded back to him. And given to him for a second time. And he'll boot it away 
into the right now, flicked on by Cooper, but cleared again. Baker this time the short. Taggart, long, easily taken. Good tackling back, but Brighton still in possession. As Codner tries to get the ball away, good work by Brighton on the far side. Brighton now playing with the confidence of a goal under the belt. And now Banks with the ball. Back to Fleming, Fleming's ball forward. Again picked off and Brighton clear the lines. They seem content to let Barnsley come at them just at the moment as Baker sets up another attack. Cooper inside to Agnew. Agnew, oh, a good ball over the fullback. Now, can we make something from this? We go to the byline, a good cross, and it's there, the equaliser. Well done indeed, and who was that? Was that Cooper or was it? Here we go again, down the right side. A good cross into the box, up to the heads and a diving header and I think it was Stevie Cooper. Yes. Yes, a good goal and we're back on terms just 15 minutes into the second half. Well, that is good news. Now we need another. So right on the hour, Cooper makes it. Barnsley won, Brighton won, and the trainer just on the park again. The referee indulging a wee bit there in the centre of the field. Purely water, I'm told. <clears throat> As Brighton line up to kick off. On is even. Now, having got one point, can we make it three? Well, tails should be up now. As Brighton play the ball down the left side. And they picked up and Baker. Bring it wide on the left. The target. Lay the ball forward, but Brighton step in. Throw to Barnsley from well inside. Well, from inside the Brighton half. And oh, the work there down the left side, but now Brighton intercept. And a good sweeping job as they get it back to Dick Reed. Up and under from the Brighton man. And good clearance through the centre of the park. Now, let me set something up here. As Agnew breaks on the right. He's got help in the form of Banks, but plays it into the box. Up go the heads. And as uh, Andy Saddle there, threw himself into the box. The ball just not getting through to him. So, Throw in. Seville takes it well, kept in play, back to Seville. Andy Seville. Oh, lovely, two good turns. And final ball, whipped away, but back again. Can we keep this pressure up? As Cooper nods it down into the area. And Cooper just unable to make a good contact there. And the ball runs through again to Perry Digweed. I wonder who christened him. So Brighton now trying to force the way through. Good interception. And oh, confident play. And finally a foul tackle. 
the back there play there, I think it was Mike Small testing it was a dive, but you saw clearly in the camera shot there was no dive there. Referee making a meal of this, and absolutely no need for it. There are times when one wonders about referees. So, here we go. Long ball down the pole. Oh, good header there, turned wide to Agnew. A good ball from Agnew. And another corner. Now again, shall we get an in-swing? I think time really that we got something more from these corners than we've been getting. Oh, now, that was a good one. Missed by three players. Are we going to get it over? Yes, oh, now that was a good ball that it came in a bit too fast there on the edge of the six-yard box for us to do anything with it. But really... More bite in that corner than we've seen from the many that we've had throughout the game so far. Now, here we go, Digweed. Good challenging header. Ball played forward. Brighton take over. Bromwich playing that ball forward. Long one now down the line, but again intercepted. And oh, a bad ball from Agnew, and this could be nasty. Played wide on the right and blocked. It's unlike Steve Agnew to play loose balls like that. And we can't afford to expose the defence. Fortunately, we've got it away, but only at the expense of a corner and Walker of course did the damage for the Brighton goal from a similar position left footed and in swinger and Baker totally missed that one if the keeper's going to come off his line he's got to get the ball that really was dangerous good job that the uh, defender had gone back onto the line to cover there so another corner and again an in swinger And this time the header goes wide. Well, I think uh, food for a lot of thought has been provided with the camera on the corners. We've seen how nearly effective Brighton have been and how wasted many of the Barnsley corners have been. But the score remains. Barnsley won, Brighton won and bound to with everything to play for. So, Brighton pushing up now considerably more than they did in the first half. No doubt that goal, coming when it did, gave them more confidence than really uh, they deserved to have, because Certainly throughout the first half, Brighton with the better side. Sorry, Barnsley with the better side. Uh, Brighton most certainly was second best. And um, the Barnsley have got the goal in this second period to bring them back on terms. So there should be no lack of confidence amongst our own players. But here we've got Brighton in possession, forcing the ball inside. And... Cross coming over, well cleared, and well held up. Now then, can we do something here? As the ball's moved down the left side, oh, good ball inside, and a good shot, and only just over the bar. Well, that was a lovely move. Down the left side, three players involved. 
the sort of football that uh, I know manager Mel Machin instills into his players day after day on the training path. So Brighton once again with a goal kick. Swinging away into touch with the throw just inside our own half. Ian Banks on the ball. Bit close there. Banks gets the ball back again. And an overhit ball down the park once again makes it easy for Brighton to take possession. Good header. But unable to keep it in play. So to Brighton. And here we go again with Clyde Baker making himself available. Just the one lapse really by Clive when he came for the ball from the corner and didn't get it. Most unusual. But now, here we come. Down the right flank. Good ball wide. Out. Good cross. Up go the heads. Back it comes. Now then. Agnew turns away from his man. And Steve Agnew gets a knock. And really when one considers the amount of work that he does and his involvement in the game, it's not really surprising. But he's taken a moment or two to recover. But recovery will, I'm quite sure. Yep. Limping a bit on his right foot. Banks, I think, will take this free kick. Hard and low, and we get a corner. Owen Archdeacon trotting out to the far side of the park for him. And a good cross, and a good header! Well, they've done something from the corner at last. Excellent. And well deserved. Here you see it again. Left footed. Over it comes. A good, brave diving header there. Into the net. And the score now. Barnsley 2. Brighton 1. Seventy two minutes of the game gone. And that go that goal going into the net. You certainly couldn't blame the Brighton keeper for that one. It was a brave, strong diving header, just the sort of thing that the fans love to see. And really we've got our tails up now and they, they should stay up. As Baker with the ball drop kicks it away down the path. And here we go again. Cooper inside. The bench one playing it square to the far side. A long ball into the box. And can we keep this in play? No, I think that will be crossed over. Yep. No, the referee is given. What's he given? Offside? Surely not. However, Brighton have possession. Good clearance once again. Right and step in. Pump the ball back down into the box. Appeals for offside, but I think they will be waved on. Yeah. So, from the edge of his area, Clive Baker thumps it down the park once more. Laid on, but Cooper 
moved a little bit too soon, in fact a lot too soon. So, I can give them the chance once more to have possession. Play the ball down the park. But... Banks now, deep in his own half. Playing the ball forward, getting it away out of danger. Picks it up again. Plays a comfortable ball out to Fleming. Fleming's ball forward, not well taken, and into touch. Something of the character in the side has been shown. They've got a goal down, and we've come back now to make it 2 1. With just a little over 15 minutes left to play. And for a curtain raiser, it couldn't be better. Was Aggie now? Oh, hell back there, and surely the referee is going to play. Somebody's going to get a yellow card for that, surely. Steve Agnew. Oh, let's hope it's uh, not a hamstring. There's the referee. He's crawling around to him. Paul McCarthy, the man with the famous name, but certainly hasn't shown a great deal and out comes the yellow card so the first card of the afternoon shown to Brighton central defender but not much consolation to uh, poor old Steve Agnew who's on the receiving end of some treatment there And if it is a nasty knock, he's got his sock well down. Maybe at this stage it could be advisable for him to come off. Without doubt, he's been Barnsley's best player. He's run the game from his midfield role. Never difficult to find, of course, with his thinning hair. But he's played a real captain's role uh, for Barnsley this afternoon. And it would be a pity if uh, the knock he's got uh, really does slow him down. But now it's Brighton coming away. And good covering there once again. If I can try to force the way into the penalty area, but enough red shirts to keep them at bay. So we still lead by two goals to one after having trailed by a goal to nil at half time. And Clive Baker once again gets the long ball down the park. And I think the referee is going to judge that as dangerous play, but really the foot wasn't all that far up by Steve Cooper. Now then. Headed away from Baker there by his own defender, but Cooper in possession, caught in possession by Bromage and Brighton glad to tidy up by feeding their own goalkeeper. And it's Brighton once again. In the ball into the box this time, Baker did shout, and shout loudly enough for the ball to be allowed to run to him. Took that one well. Good flick on. Bromwich gets the ball down the park for Brighton. Nice interplay, but well read. Very well read and intercepted as we take over. And Bromwich once more stops his man.
So, a throw in. Gary Fleming just deciding we'll give this one to. Plays it down the line, gets the return ball. Pumps it up into space. And it's a throw to Barnsley down on the Brighton corner flag. Well, will Gary Fleming gives a long one? No, he won't. But he does get the return. Lays it into the box, cleared away, only partially. Back it comes. And well played by Brighton. We'll get it safely back to their own keeper. Throwing over on the far side, which I thought we might have claimed, but uh, no. Right and get it. And away they come again. New boy Bromwich plays it back inside. Right and to take over. And rather a hard tackle there on the back of Small. But the referee gives the throw in. And another free kick. That latish tackle. Brighton attempting to pinch a yard or two, but the referee will have none of it. And so the ball placed for Brighton to pump this one forward into the Barnsley box. Over to the far side. Into the area, back header, nicely cleared from a dangerous position. That really did show quite a bit of skill by Gary Fleming, who knew that if he miscued on that one, it could have easily been an own goal. So Clive Walker into the area, punched away. No, came off the head of a Brighton man, says the referee. And so we get a goal kick. Well, Brighton getting a little bit anxious. They're trailing by two goals to one. And if they're going to get anything at all out of this game, they've got to get a goal within the next ten minutes. And just at this stage, that doesn't look on the cards. But Brighton in possession, playing the ball forward. And a nice little... Dummy there, play that, Steve Agnew, and Steve had moved a fraction too early. So again, we see the Brighton keeper in action, thumping the long ball forward. Trying to force the ball home, into the box it comes again. A good chance here, but now it's laid off. Low shot, and that deflection, I thought, came off a bright man, but the referee disagrees, and so Clive Walker thumps it in once more. Baker, again, coming for the ball and not making real contact. If, if, if a keeper comes, he's got to be positive of what he's doing. But here we are, coming away, down the path once again, sweeping over to the right side. Good running there by Cooper, and a good ball inside, just whipped away. Yes. Really, that was a lovely curling cross from Cooper. He bent that beautifully, just far enough away from Big Reed and close enough for something to be made of it, if we could have got on the end of it. But cleared. Once again, control ball forward. Cooper letting the ball run, but not deceiving his marker. And 
right, and trying to force their way forward, but back it comes. Will Taken and Steve Agnew again doing the easy thing, doing it well. Cooper with plenty of space now. Oh, what a terrible cross. Well, an indication of tired legs there, I think. <clears throat> it is, after all, the first game of the season. It's a little bit hot for football, but I'm sure everyone, both players and spectators, have enjoyed this game. The only people at the moment with any cause to grumble is the Brighton side, who trail by 2-1. to one. Uh, the referee getting in the way a little bit there. And Baker again two attempts at that one. Bowling the ball out and Banks taking over. Banks deciding that at this late stage Baker's the man to hold the ball. So, here we go again. This time... No, it didn't run out of play the first time, but it will do now, I'm sure. No? Yes. <laughs> Goal kick. Well, we're not far away from a victory in the opening game of the season. Barnsley against Brighton, and the standard of, way, uh, of play has naturally fallen away a wee bit uh, as we reach this late stage, 85 minutes of football in the heat of this summer afternoon, taking its toll. First game of the season, no doubt there'll be a few blisters on a few feet, but the players on the winning side won't mind that. So it's Brighton trying to force the way through. Good ball inside, but still Brighton not really getting very far. And a good clearing header by Gary Fleming, who really has shown quite a lot of skill in defending this afternoon. One header of his had to be totally precise for the nodded it wide of his own goal behind the corner some time back but it was a good saving head of that and he's been back on the line when Baker has come forward and not always got to the crosses so right now moving through the centre of the park before playing it wide on the right long ball into the box and uh, what's the referee giving here? I think they can let that one go knowing that it could be a goal kick. So in spite of some reasonable approach work from the South Coast Club they've never got the weight of numbers into the penalty area to uh, disturb the Barnsley defence in any real way. And the one goal that they got was very well taken from a snapshot just inside the penalty area. And certainly not a well-worked goal by any means. But now, right, and forcing the way forward and winning the... Uh, Throw in just on the right. Barnsley rather forcing the way forward than in the throw. And it's Fleming turning it back towards his own keeper. So through to goalkeeper Baker making a long clearance down the park, flicked inside, and the way it goes into touch. Bromwich there with the throw. His first game, of course, for Brighton this afternoon, and he won't forget this one. As we force the ball through to Agnew, and oh, a bad decision there. Um, 
I find it hard to believe that Agnew was offside when that ball was delivered. So, free kick. Down the path as the whistle goes. So, the final score in the first game of the season here at Oakwell is uh, Barnsley 2, Brighton 1. A lot of good things in this game. Certainly an excellent game for the first match of the season. Um, and lots to look forward to in future matches here at Barnsley. So the score, Barnsley 2, Brighton 1.